Hello friends, how are you? I Dr. Kothani welcomes you in my statistical series. So friend, today we are going to solve a last problem in regression. And we have some information given here in a question. And with this information, we have to find out two regression coefficient, coefficient of correlation and two regression equations. Okay. So these information are n we have 10, sigma x is given as 350, summation of all y series is 310, summation of x minus 35, this 35 is mean, okay. So we have x bar here that is sigma x upon n equal to sigma x is given as 350 upon n is 10, so mean we have 35, okay. So this summation of x minus 35 is x minus x bar square or simply x minus x bar this is equal to small x or a deviation and this is nothing but this square of deviation that is 162 okay so if we have to use this term x square somewhere so you will use 162 okay so this is simply x square right x square okay then we have summation of y minus 31 square so this is nothing but y minus y bar is small y or deviation okay and this is the square of deviation that is 2 2 2 okay 222 okay so if you need to use y square anywhere so you will use it 2 2 2 okay so this one is y square then summation of x minus 35 and y minus 31 so this is nothing but summation of x and y that is 92 or simply it is sigma x y equal to 92 okay so these information are given and we have to find out two regression equations coefficient of correlation and two regression uh, coefficients right okay so let's start the first one we have to calculate that is two regression coefficient okay so the first one is bxy and second one is byx so let's start this is number one regression coefficient regression coefficients Okay, first one is B X Y. It is sigma X Y upon sigma Y square. Okay, so sigma X Y we have this one. This is sigma X Y. Okay, as we solved it, that is 92 upon sigma Y square. We have sigma Y square as 222. This one is Y minus 31 square. This is y square, okay, 222. So it gives us answer 0 0.414. If you solve it out, it will give you 4.14, okay, 0 0.414. So this is our b x y. So similarly, we need b sub y x, that is again sigma x y, small x, small y upon sigma x square small x square okay so it is 92 sigma x y is same but sigma x square is this is 162 sigma x square is 162 162 okay if you get it solved this will give you 0 0.568 okay so these are our two terms bxy and byx right okay this we need to solve our or to estimate our two regression equations right okay so our first step is over here right so now move on the second one that is coefficient of correlation you please just note it down or have a 
a screenshot of this one. Okay, so next number two that is coefficient of correlation. Okay, so for coefficient of correlation, the information is given as sigma x y, sigma x square, and sigma y square. So these three information are enough to calculate our regression uh, that coefficient of correlation. Okay. So coefficient of correlation R equal to sigma x y upon under root sigma x square into sigma y square. Okay. So this is the formula when we are given the actual mean by actual mean method that we also discuss in correlation chapter or topic of correlation. Okay, so sigma x y we have how much? 92. 92. And sigma x square we have 162. Sigma x square. Okay. Into sigma y square we have 2, 2, 2. Right? Now solve it. This will give us 92 upon the square root of this into this is. 35964. 35964. Okay, so if you multiply this into this, 162 into 222, it will give us 35964. Okay, then if you get the root value of this one, so it gives us 189.64. 189.64. Six four, okay, six four, right? So if you solve it, it gives us answer as zero point four eight five. So this is our correlation, okay? The correlation between x and y variable is zero point four eight five, okay? So this is our second answer, coefficient of correlation. 0.485 right okay so next we have to find out or estimate two regression equations okay you please just note it down or have a screenshot okay so third one that is regression equations Regression equations. Okay. So first it is regression equation of x on y. Okay. So this is x minus x bar equal to b x y times y minus y bar okay so x we don't know but x bar we have 35 and bxy we calculated as 0 0.414 times y minus y bar we have 31 okay so x minus 35 equal to it is 0. 1414y minus this into this it is this one is 12.834 12.834 it is 12.834 414 into 31 okay then x equal to 0.414y minus 12.834 plus this 35 if comes right side of this one this equation so it will be positive okay 
then x equal to 0.414 y this is positive value is higher than the negative value then the answer will be positive 22.166 22.166 or we can say x equal to 22.166 plus 0.414 y. So this is our regression equation of x on y, right? Regression equation of x on y. Now, similarly, next regression equation of y on x, regression equation of y on x. So this is y minus y bar equal to b y x times x minus x bar. Okay. So y minus y bar we have 31 equal to b y x we had 0 0.568. Okay. Times x we don't know but x bar we have 35 right so solve it this will be y minus 31 equal to 0 0.5680 0 0.568 568 0 0.568 x minus 0.568 into 35 gives us 19.88 19.88 okay this into this this one is y equal to 0.568 x minus 19.88 plus 31 okay plus 31. So y equal to 0.568x plus this minus this it is 11.12. Okay, 31 minus 19.88. Or we can say y equal to 11.12 plus 0.568x okay so this is our second equation that is y on x okay so please just note it down or have a screenshot right so though the question in this format looks tough but when we solve it it is quite easy because we are given all the required information to get the answer of these questions here right so friend thank you very much for watching this video and in next lecture we will discuss the index number we will start this chapter there okay so if you have not subscribed this channel so far please just subscribe it share it to your friends and also give your valuable comments and press the notification bell as well so then you will just get the notification for the coming videos okay so have a nice day ahead god bless you